Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays The Binding of Isaac. That was not just me making a funny voice to make a funny voice. Testing my mic levels at the same time. Look at that synergy right there. Um, we had a we had a good run that ended in a bad way last time. And it uh, looks like we're not going to be getting a deal with the devil on our first floor here either. Because I'm kind of a dummy and took some damage that I'm not necessarily thrilled with. We'll save those spirit hearts and maybe all will be forgiven for a deal with the devil on the next floor. But we'll pick them up before the boss fight just in case we can avoid taking red heart damage. Get the... Uh, deal with the devil after the boss fight. It's a new instance of Isaac, so it should be uh, opportune for that to happen. It should be possible for that to happen. Let's put it that way. XL floor for the second time in a row on the first set of floors. It's a disappointment, but that's okay. Um, you know what? I think we can afford to actually come in here and see if maybe we can earn... Okay, that, that'll that do it. Um... Let's take the pact, and we'll see if we can earn a deal with the devil later. We, we know we're not going to want Horror of Babylon ever, so we might as well reroll it now. Okay, well, I was hoping that maybe it would be nine lives, because of course that has, you know, guaranteed synergy and yada yada, but, um, that's, that's okay. Are we going to go back into that curse room now and do this again? I guess we will. It's going to cost us a spirit heart, but that's probably okay. That was a waste, but, um... That's not a surprise. Weird run so far, so the very first item we got is the Pact. That doesn't happen all that often. In fact, there is a small chance that that's the first time that's ever happened in an Isaac episode. Which is kind of surprising, given the, you know, the number that we're on right now, basically. Alright, so let's go back to standard Isaac protocol here. What are we looking for? We're looking for keys. If we could get keys, we can open doors. That's what Clips has always told me. Push a T and the other guy. Um... Oh, that is super lucky. Maybe we can actually make uh, our way into the shop, but, you know, let's not count our chickens before they hatch. We're going to need to actually get some kind of door opening mechanism before that becomes likely. Or, maybe we'll get super lucky and our uh, secret room will border one of these special rooms. But for now, a little bit of a scary proposition. We'll be going to that item room and uh, in perfect timing. Oh, sweet. So there's two, uh, two item rooms taken care of. Maybe the shop, but... Probably not yet, unless our secret room is here and amazing. Well, step one accomplished. And step two uh, accomplished as well. Okay, so we'll probably go to our shop instead of our second item room then, if we have the choice in the matter. That's pretty amazing so far. Yumheart is a, a god-awful item for god-awful people, so we'll reroll that because we don't want to be a god-awful person. And Halo of Flies is much, much better. Despite our low HP, I'm, uh, I'm loving this run right now. We've already gotten a deal with the devil item. We have that spirit heart kind of cash, which we should draw from maybe sooner rather than later, just in case we end up taking some really, really dumb damage uh, on, on any room. Like, we could get hit four times on any given room. It's not likely uh, to happen on the basement, but it could happen. Or we could get whittled down. There's many possible outcomes there. The latter is um, very much not worth picking up, in my opinion. Whether we pick it up, or whether we reroll that, or we end up just buying the keys, dependent on a couple of different uh, factors going on right now. Namely, how far away our boss room is, whether or not we get another key drop randomly. Like so. Uh, we probably won't buy that key at all now, because we'll just walk in here. But this will give us a reroll, and theoretically we should get one more reroll for the possible boss room deal with the devil kind of corridor thing we've got going on over there. So sure, let's... um. Walk in here. X-ray goggles, I think, are a beautiful item. Very happy to have them. We can find second secret rooms this way. Probably good for uh, another maybe one or two HP over the course of any given run. So, we're going to go reroll the ladder. And uh, that'll, that'll mark the end of a whirlwind kind of like item section on this floor. We could need to use another reroll in the shop. We'll talk about that. We'll see if we get another reroll instead. Let's see if we just get lucky and find our second item room on the way here uh, to our boss room. I doubt we will, but it's it's a theoretical possibility for sure. All right, we're gonna maybe get two re-rolls, although I would say at that point, or at this point, that's pretty unlikely. Unless we end up, uh, you know, re-rolling the ladder, getting the nine volt or something like that. Wow, uh, it's starting to look increasingly likely. But still, a little bit of a long shot, I would say. I wouldn't bank on getting that second re-roll. This is a huge floor for the first floor, though. Wow, we... Actually, theoretically, should get a second reroll now. Uh, we don't really want anything to do with that, but I think it's fair to use a bomb to blow this up. Maybe get something more than a bomb out of it. Well, you know what? I figured we'd take that pill, because that pill makes me a little bit more likely, uh, if it's great, to buy the coin purse, right? Maybe we can get a couple tiers upgrades out of it. 
But I still think I'm going to re-roll it just because we've been given a golden gift here. Could still get a little screwed if maybe our... The, that room that is probably directly preceding the boss room, if that doesn't have uh, enemies in it, then we won't get another re-roll. Which would be... Oh man, portable slot. So you can make the argument that maybe we should have gone with the coin purse, but I'm more of the mind that... Um, you know, it's okay to save our money as well. And you never know, that coin purse could have had some negatives in it, or it could have had three tiers upgrades, which well would have been well worth it, of course. But, um, shit happens, okay? We're still in a great position here. We may actually get one more reroll to use on the shop, if we don't want to reroll either of our boss room items, or the potential deal with the devil that... Oh, well, that's sorted. So we won't get another reroll. Unless our deal with the devil miraculously has Krampus in it, which is, um... Actually, literally impossible, but uh, we can we can dream a little bit. So, uh, we're not going to be getting HP here. We're going to be getting Steven or Little Steven. I don't really mind either of them. Oh, that's bad damage. Um, I don't really mind either of them, as long as we don't fight like Famine next. Even though it would give us a full suite of orbitals, I very much desire having a little bit of HP to work with. So there's Little Steven. And finally, it's going to be Larry J. Oh, and that's, yeah, that could have been a little terrifying, but we managed to make it out of there just fine. Once one of these guys goes down, we can just uh, abuse the fact that they have to get right next to us to hit us. And, uh, oh, this is not good. We made it! <laughs> and we got a magic 8-ball. Beautiful. We don't, we're not going to pick up Guppy's Paw. Um, we're also not going to pick up the 8-ball. So that's down to the next floor. Very weird first floor, but I can't necessarily say it was bad. Um, that's inner eye, right? Oh, mom's eye. Oh, uh, bad pickup. I always get those two confused. Um, I don't know if that actually is a tears upgrade or if it just says it's a tears upgrade and causes us to occasionally have that tear that shoots out of our anus. Um, which is not really that useful, uh, as you might expect. Except in certain situations, I guess. Um, that, that could come in handy. But for now, not really that necessary. Uh, since we don't have any keys, let's just see if we can quickly like sneak into some kind of special room via this... Uh, Secret room. I kind of doubt it, but it is a theoretical possibility. 25 cents means the shop would be lovely if we could get to it. And that's not it. But there's our second secret room. Alright, just be cool here. We can take out the red one easily. And then this guy. Soon to follow. One more. And a bomb. Well, it's well worth it then, isn't it? Hopefully some eternal hearts, because we are getting to the point where, you know, HP would be... Very, you know, very nice to have. Uh, no, we just got some flies there. Really would like to access this shop. Starting to wish I bought the coin purse just because our money situation is so good right now that we probably could have afforded an item on this floor as well as the coin purse on the last floor, but I'm not going to dwell on it too much. If we end up losing this run, it's very unlikely to be as a result of not buying the coin purse. So, blue candle is ugh, pretty good, but we're going to stick with the D6 because it's so early. I don't know why Compass and Unsab and 9 Volt have been showing up so f freaking rarely lately. And we probably will earn another reroll on this floor, but I gotta make sure that I have one ready for a possible deal with the Devil Room as well. So, because that's a little bit more time sensitive, so we're gonna go get, you know, one more room of charge back here and then try it out, but uh, yeah, the shop has not been as consistent as it often ends up being for me. I think Northern Lion Luck, as far as the shops go, has uh, run a little dry for now. Just be careful here. Shouldn't be hit, but it could happen. Stranger things have. More keys is always nice. Sets us up very nicely for the next floor, where we'll probably fight Greed, because they're going to be like, Hey, how did you, you know, so ungrateful? Not buying Blue Candle, not buying Mom's Coin Purse. Sorry, game. Let's see who we got here. Mm, okay, good. Not uh, Pestilence was pretty much what I was hoping for. Uh, not little, or not regular size Chad would be even worse. Regular size chat would be even worse, I should say. Let's see if we can get some uh, chain reactions happening here. We only got four more of these to take out, which is usually pretty easy. No damage. I would say this means uh, deal with the devil is very likely. All right, I'm full of shit. So we'll check out our cursor room quickly because we can reroll whatever's in there right away if we can. Uh, two pills. One's a tears upgrade. The other one could be anything. Friends till the end. Well, it's a second tiers upgrade, which is nice. We do have some extra HP now, which is very nice. Uh, we definitely desire that. And hey, there's the map. Map is not so good because we uh, 
Well, it's not as good as it would be on an average run because we already have uh, the X-ray vision, but it does help us, especially with the compass, and we can plan our D6 rerolls a little bit more accordingly. Plus, we don't have any more rerolls to give it, so I'm going to be content with buying the map here. I think it's okay. Even if uh, a lot of people probably think it's made redundant by the fact that we have uh, X-ray goggles, I disagree. Tarot card is the devil. Useful later, not very useful right away, but that's okay. I'm very pleased with our damage. Our, our health has a long way to go. Defense is okay otherwise by this, uh, well, because of this halo of flies. And some decent kind of like, you know, interstitial items. They're not interstitial, like extraneous items, I guess you would call them. Let's check out this shop. Steam sale. Pretty much not worth buying, but with one more penny and a couple more rooms, we can get a charge. Looks like this floor is going to be kind of, not devoid, but low on rerolls. Um, based on the fact that we have still not encountered a single room of enemies until just as I was saying that, so the game could make a liar out of me. And because we brought a lot of money down here, I would not be surprised to find an arcade as well, which would be sweet, especially if we got Nun's Habit on our shop. Hear a font, very nice, but we probably won't take that right away, for reasons unbeknownst. Now an arcade would be super useful, obviously. Come on. There we go. Yeah, I really don't want to buy the Steam Sale. I think usually it ends up being pretty worthless. Uh, are we going to use the Devil card on this floor, or are we going to use the Hierophant? We might as well use the Hierophant and take the Devil card with us, is my philosophy, at least. Let's re-roll that Steam Sale into the Nun's Habit. And now, um... Now a uh, an arcade is exceptionally useful. Wow, two of these rooms. And not that I'm complaining, because it's free for a bomb and a penny, but... Uh, might be nice to maybe mix it up a little bit, get some more re-rolls, just in case that boss trap room ends up being garbage, assuming we actually even get the opportunity to go to it. Alright. Poison bombs are worth taking, I would say. I would never have looked here for the secret room, so thank you very much, X-Ray Goggles. And a little bit more money as well, maybe give us something on the next arcade, or next uh, shop, if there isn't greed in it. So far, it's so good. That Nuns Have a Pickup is huge. That's what I get for complaining. Sometimes the squeaky wheel gets the grease, you know? Finally, the shop's starting to work out in our favor again. So we're going to be uh, very tight on rerolls towards the end of this. Unless we do have an arcade. If we do have an arcade, rerolls should flow, uh, you know, like the waters of, or the ambrosia on Mount Olympus. But if... Why? Why? Trade a bomb for a bomb, the bang, the bang, dicky. Uh, no, uh... No arcade means we can exercise uh, some ingenuity and still go to that boss trap room, which I'm probably going to try to do, in all honesty. We might as well use the devil card here. We're going to be fighting a more difficult boss in Peep than we would be in the uh, boss trap room, Monstro plus Larry Jr. I'd rather fight Monstro plus Larry Jr. than, than Peep for the most part, I think. You may disagree, and that's uh, that's your constitutional right. For now, please die before that eye gets here. Thank you. We'll take our HP, even though it does come with a shot speed upgrade. Deal with the devil contains. Nine lives, Book of Belial. Not particularly strong, in my opinion, right now. Reroll both of those. Ability to fly, quite cheap. The other bonus in taking this is I can keep my spirit hearts while also being able to go to that boss trap room. Which I was going to have to sacrifice um, my spirit hearts to go to that boss trap room. And some red hearts, uh, but we had the hero font card, so I was like, ah, it's probably worth it. Anyway, this is nice, and uh, again, you know, we get a little, little stronger, I guess, but a little weaker defensively. So we're gonna be picking up this hero font card for sure. This really would help me if it was an HP upgrade, which it is, thankfully. All right, so no rerolls necessary, necessary, but we will go. Uh, and, and clear out the remainder of the rooms, just in case it would be nice to get uh, some more consumables. We do need to find our second secret room. Which, uh, again, could conceivably be even more HP. To pick up three HP on this floor and cancel out the fact that we have... Or even more than cancel out the fact that we picked up uh, Spirit of the Night would be lovely. So far, I'm pleased, but I'm just worrying if maybe we're not being a little bit too aggressive. That should do it. And nothing else. Okay. I don't know why I'm saving this Hierophant card. I guess it's like... I, I'm thinking, like, maybe we have a situation where we want to hurt ourselves to get into a boss trap room so I can use the Hero Font card after we lose the Spirit Hearts that we start with. Hopefully you understand what I mean by that. 
kind of like an emergency reserve. Like, we don't want to add it to the top yet. We can just pull the cash out of our mattress later instead. Man, an arcade on this floor would have been so, so easy to get uh, a payout out of. Especially with Nun's Habit. We also got Nun's Habit on this floor, so we shouldn't complain uh, too, too much, but... Sure, that's that. We're going to be moving uh, crazy to the left. And then down and out, down to what I certainly hope is not Necropolis Part 1, but as long as it has good items for me and possibly a deal with the devil, I don't really mind too much. Still got this Hero Font card backing us up if things get truly dire. But for now, it's, oh, it is Necropolis 1 and Curse of the Lost. So the Curse of the Lost isn't necessarily a bad thing, always. Um, but it, it does give us a larger floor. Which sometimes is good, sometimes can be a little terrible, depending on your... The, the individual pressures facing you on any given run. So let's keep it up here. Watch out for those uh, green bombs. We're doing enough damage that we can uh, stay on the other side of the map and be relatively safe as long as we just dodge the poison bombs and we sneak in the occasional shot here. Pretty easy. Now, this is not... Oh, that was close. This is not the fastest way to get to, like, a, a terminal here. We've got exactly the same room, but... It's okay. We're just gonna keep doing what we're doing. Turn off your brain ever so slightly. Don't overthink this situation. Thanks for the bomb. Uh, if this is the boss room, that would be great. You know, get an early deal with the devil potentially, but we're gonna need more HP if we're gonna feel great about taking it. I already didn't take nine lives. Mostly because of the, you know, negatives that it caused me on the last run. We should probably pick up that spirit heart, but whatever. Thinking it's pretty likely we fight Greed. Fight Greed, get the Steam Sale, reroll the shit out of it, get uh, Compass. Not GG, but it's close. Let's see how uh, how true my prophecy comes here. That was a very awkward sentence. Alright. That is Super Greed, so I'm already slightly off. Let's throw a Poison Bomb in there. That'll rattle his fences a little bit. That might not be an expression that makes any goddamn sense, but hey, I'm, I'm making it new. I'm, I'm inventing it, okay? And that is a, a waste of about 30% of this floor, estimated at least, without getting too much in return uh, out of our rerolls. So, might as well pick up our spirit heart, because I don't think I'll be coming back here anytime soon. Save that room for possible reroll generation. Same with this other room over here, and uh, we're looking for... Item room, probably not gonna find anything else. Maybe a library. I could make good use of a library. We got some free flies, and uh, those second secret rooms have not been incredible for us yet. You usually expect like at least a couple of rooms of eternal hearts. Not, no such luck yet though. That's not a special room. Uh, yeah, well, we're the bomb. We might even get a key out of it. We didn't, but hey, we got an eternal heart there. Let's try not to pick that up yet. Alright, that's a good move. Very smart. Now, we gotta protect that now. So now I'm a little bit more tempted to pop the Hierophant card early. Is this a trinket we can actually use? No, just uh, some money, but that's fine. It means the next shop should be totally viable. And hey, maybe there's a one heart deal for uh, money equals power coming up for like the thousandth time. That would make this room substantially better as well. Uh, oh, so apparently this is our boss fight. That was a weird connection to that secret room there. So here's what I'm thinking. Pop the Hierophant. Get this shit out of here. Fighting the bloat. Nobody likes it. It's got to be done, though. Bad bomb. What you gonna do? What you gonna do when it explodes on nothing? Okay. Damage is fine right now. Just trying to... I, I mean, I would... Oh, fuck. I would love to use a bomb. I just can't really uh, place it effectively with confidence. Although this has worked out very nicely. Come on, dude. Look at these... Look at the matrix that you've set up for me here. It's it's impossible to navigate this shit. It's unnavigatable. Innavigatable. There's a word for that. But I'm not Russell Crowe in Master and Commander, so I don't need to know it. Usually. Nice! Okay, we got the crate. I almost feel like we're in a, a good enough position on almost all consumables to reroll the crate here, the cardboard box. It became a range upgrade, but that's fine because we'll have so many opportunities to reroll it, in all likelihood at least. Come on, just walk into the fucking spikes there, buddy. It's no big deal. Everybody does it. Really doubt they're going to be able to sneak a shot in from behind here, so... Oh, never mind! Turns out it's the greatest uh, shooter in 
human history, or keeper history, whatever this thing is. Might as well check out uh, this room. Um, sure. Not thrilled with the payout, as you might expect. Damage is still pretty good. It's the, the pact in our tiers upgrades working out in our favor. This is all right. It's Necropolis, so next floor might even be a little bit easier if we get, well, not even lucky. It's like a 50-50 shot, I think. I think. I should preface that, or I should preface everything I say in Isaac with, I think, or not preface, but end everything I say in Isaac with, I think. In my estimation, yada yada. So there's our HP upgrade, which I think is a little bit more valuable than the crate. Yes, I know we get a trinket, possibly, and a pill, and a spirit heart, and some consumables, but we're pretty okay in the all-consumable regard here, so I think it's it's a re-rollable item. Although I like it a lot, especially the cardboard box shows up early game. Can be very useful. Late game, sometimes, sometimes useful. You know, but we got to imagine that our trinket is probably, even if it was a great one, we're going to lose it on the next uh, floor unless we get Mom's purse. Finally, we're going to be able to access our item room. Lots of uh, weird terminals here without rooms attached, well, like special rooms uh, associated with them, which is kind of surprising, but what's done is done. Finally, we have a trinket at least. Quad shot is a pretty big pickup for us here. Spectral Tears obviously making the... Uh, extinguishing these fires a little bit more difficult, but that's okay. Here we go. Isaac's head. Let's start uh, finishing off the rest of these rooms just in case. You know, you never know. Maybe there's going to be a, an extra drop that's of importance here. We already have another HP upgrade from our Eternal Heart coming. Which is fantastic. You know what? I don't like to use strong language like that. It's magnificent. It's wonderful. For all my impressions, and, and you know, if you watch the NLSS, how terrible those are, I think I've still got a pretty good Professor Oak in Pokemon Snap impression. Can I, may I treat you to it as we speak? <clears throat> wonderful. That's it right there. I'm working on it. Uh, I think it's going to be pretty good. It's going to go really, it's going to go over really well at the Oscars next year. When Hollywood finally recognizes new media like us YouTubers, and invites um, the Rad Brad to host the Oscars. That's not me shit-talking the Rad Brad. He's, uh, I've met him in person. He is a very nice gentleman. He's a good guy. At least, in, you know, when we talked. I don't know, maybe he's got some dark skeletons in his closet or something like that. I just, I, I like to add that at the end there, not because I have reason to suspect anything crazy's going on, but just in case it comes out and there's like, you know, Somebody's been involved in a murder, and the number one suspect is this guy, and then, you know, people dredge up this stuff that I said. Yeah, he's a pretty nice guy. That's why, at the end, I'm, I like to add, but maybe he's a fucking asshole. Really. Maybe he's off his rocker. Maybe he's crazy. So I protect myself from, hopefully, those super out-of-context quotes. But mostly, just don't murder each other. Like, that would be sweet if you just didn't do that. So it's down to the next floor. We're going to be on Necropolis, too. No, we're going to be on the depths. Uh, and, you know, Curse of Darkness is bothersome, but not so bad. Especially when we, uh... Ha I mean, it, normally it nullifies the map, which is the annoying part of it. That was some of the worst dodging I've ever done. It nullifies the map, which sucks. But, um... We still have X-ray goggles, so we can still access secret rooms, so who really cares? Uh, I'm gonna not go through that corridor, because I think it's gonna make it difficult for me to figure out where the heck I am, all things considered. Let's drop this down here. That seems pretty good. And a free spirit heart. I didn't... Okay, come on now. Not a free spirit heart anymore. How many times can this Mamma Jamma turn around? The AI isn't supposed to work like that. You're supposed to... I think it's the halo of flies. Like, he bumps into a fly and then he turns around. Luckily, I'm like a built-to-spill song. I would hurt a fly. Now, have we been up? No, we haven't been up. This is not Shania Twain's comeback album. If I wanted Shania Twain's comeback album, some gross joke there, but let's just end it by saying I would buy up the album um, instead of Come On Over, which most people would argue is her breakout success. I'm Canadian, you have to know this stuff. Now, that could be a library. If it is, no skin off my scrot, that's acceptable. It is a shop, which is also totally fine. 
So we'll reroll that ladder into a, a B rev, which I think, you know, with our money being as high as it is, it's worth paying uh, 15 cents for one spirit heart, especially when it gives you the opportunity to reroll more in the future. And there's other fringe benefits. It makes the library a little faster to pay out, potentially. We'll pick up that shears and reroll it before we finish this floor. Uh, we still have like half of the floor that we haven't seen, but we've seen potentially all of the special rooms except for uh, an arcade, maybe. And, you know, there could be a library as well, but I, and, you know, a boss trap room and a mob trap room, yada yada, but I really doubt that there's all of those on this run. That would be a little crazy. We've been up here yet? Oh, no, we Oh, there's a demon judgment and a boss trap room. What the fuck, man? This runs crazy. All right, well, let's uh, go a little ham on this guy. Don't know what that pill does. I'll take it. You've burned me for the last time here, Demon J. I know we have rerolls. I should go use them, but I was being a little bit lazy. I'll admit, sometimes I'm a I'm a lazy individual when it comes to these rerolls, but I really should use them. This is our shop. We'll reroll that into the 9 volt, which is great because that gives us a, a reroll that we can use already uh, in order to reroll the shears. And then we'll go back to Demon Judgment. Next reroll we'll have, we'll be able to use it on the boss trap room or the item room. We'll see. Or on Demon Judgment's item, maybe. Homing bombs. I think homing plus poison, you know, the more synergies you get, the stupider you would be to pass up on bomb synergies in the future. So, fairly good items here. Uh, should be able to get a ton of rerolls. Nun's Habit and Nine Volt don't synergize that well. Because you don't get a full charge from getting hit once. But if you don't get hit, you know, Nine Volt's still great. What do we have in here? We have meat, so we're definitely not going to reroll that. That's a great pickup for us. And probably not going to use any bombs here, because this should be a relatively easy fight. We'll be fighting the bloat, or sorry, peep after this. Thankfully, peep, and not the bloat. Tears downgrade pill we got earlier, a little frustrating, but meat compensates, plus the HP. All right. Not loving our damage, I'll admit, but uh, that could change. Possibly. It could not change as well. There is also, a, you know, that's, that's the other one, so I'd say it's basically a 50-50 chance, because there's only two options, right? It's like, um, you know, global warming or the female orgasm. There's only two possible options. Either it exists or it doesn't exist. Um, so it's 50-50. I don't know what these scientists are getting all up in arms about. Now, what do you got here? Uh, I'll, I'll take it. Two of spades. Uh, that, that would give us two keys right now, which would actually be pretty nice if we find a place to actually use them. And there's an arcade as well. So, I mean, good. Especially if we can actually get some, uh, some HP back. Or like some, yeah, some HP back, I guess, from gambling in this case. So, or, or from something like this. Um, we're going to keep playing Demon Judgment because the potential payout there is better. More money. We don't have a trinket. Uh, like, Bloody Penny would save us a lot of heartache here. Then we would probably play the Blood Bank first. But for now, we're just going to keep this up. Maybe earn some keys that would be useful with two of spades or get ready to blow these guys up. We'll see. Don't take that one out of context either. That could color my image in a way that is not necessarily, you know, equivocal to reality. Now, more money, sure. We'll try to use that in the future, but for now, why don't we just uh, burn some more extraneous rerolls here, and uh, there's a tarot card, huh? What do you got for me? Hanged Man, which I can just pop and get rid of. Um, Isaac's Head, Two of Spades is pretty much the combination we want here. Come on, Demon Judgment, just don't fuck with me this hard. If you would just give me a payout, then I can start focusing on this blood bank and, you know, make it so this run isn't uh, 55 hours long. Alright, you know, those are those are bombs. The, I, mean, I mean, I'm not too salty about the fact that we're gambling a lot here, because the bombs are actually going to be very helpful. Yes, you know, would it be nice to get keys? Of course it would be nice to get keys, but the fact that we're getting so many bomb payouts is going to make the rest of the game proportionally a lot easier. I don't really want fly love, but at least it gives me a reroll pedestal. Third pretty fly is nice. We don't get fly love, so that was a false alarm anyway. We'll just keep this up here. We're getting uh, almost all the way down. There's another key for us, so now we get three keys with two of spades with uh, effective usage. Another pill, which is, uh, we know this one, don't we? Bad gas. It's not very good. Just get rid of that uh, off the floor to simplify things a little bit easy, easier here. Come on, red hearts, man. We only have one right now. That's a, a pill we don't know. Health up. That's lovely. Great. Yeah. Full health might have been better to allow me to play Demon Judgment a little more, but that's another health upgrade. Holy crap. This is like a, a carbon copy of what happened on the last episode, but uh, we ended up losing that run because we couldn't ever fill our red hearts out, and it's starting to look increasingly uh, 
likely that that could happen again, which scares the crap out of me. Now four keys with the two of spades key and effective usage. The more the merrier. And that's our last bit of, uh, of money right there. Hey, now um, eight keys. So let's blow this bad boy up. Now 10 keys. We're getting to the point where golden chests are very likely to be opened. 12 keys. Should have used some of that extra money we got, but whatever. Holy crap, he didn't pay out, but he gave me the two of clubs? Okay, we'll pop that. Go get our two of spades back. There we go. Fish head is fine. I don't care about Isaac's head that much. Um, let's see if there is uh, any rooms I have not gone to. There are. I haven't seen... Oh, there's like this whole side of the map I haven't been to. Um, this is good, but also really daunting with uh, Curse of Blindness. We've already been in there. Uh, well, I guess, you know, we could gamble and blow it up a little bit more as well. Might as well see if we get something useful. A full health pill would be uh, incredible. Let's pop this down. We haven't seen our second secret room. That could be all red hearts, which would actually be amazing for uh, what we need it for. There it is. Let's see if we get super lucky. Would actually be like a potentially enormous coup for us if it's just full of red hearts. Oh my god. Okay. There we go. So let's finish off the rest of these rooms. It's taking a little longer than that. I mean, it's a large floor here, but um, that's okay. Maybe some more red hearts we'll find as well. Oh, that's, that's it. Um, we're going to go uh, up, and there's another blood bank. Okay, well, I don't think we're going to be able to get the payout from all of these, but at the very least, thank you to the game for giving us a good chance at, uh, at getting payouts here. Alright, uh, so we're gonna go Demon Judgment first, then Blood Bank inside of the arcade, just because it's closer, and then probably I would have to guess that Boss Room comes after that. I wish it, half of this shit wasn't here. I don't wanna... Oh, there we go, he finally paid out. It's Brimstone. I'm gonna re-roll it, because I, like I like our current setup, actually. No, I'm gonna take it. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I rethought it, and I was like, wait, don't be an idiot. You've had some tears downgrades, just being able to do a lot of damage in one fell swoop is going to be very nice. So I'm going to go all the way down to zero red hearts on this, I don't care. I'm content to do that. We have a, a fair number of spirit hearts backing us up, that's what I was hoping for. Um, now dare we do the same on this other blood bank? You might be saying why not, but now that I have all this red health back, I'm a little bit more wary about losing it. So let's just move uh, move towards the end of the game now. And I think this floor has done an awful lot to improve our chances. We came in here as a reject. Look into these eyes. Anyway. Let's, uh, let's get Blue Mom to step on the Tinted Rock over here. Thank you. One extra key. Takes us up to 14 keys with good use of uh, two of spades. This actually takes me 132,000 years to charge up uh, Brimstone. But when it charges, it does some real damage, as you can see. But it is a, it's a very long charge time. Wow. Nasty bit of damage at the end, but we got two Spirit Arts back. Uh, we got the Pentagram, which is amazing for us right now. And the Polaroid to take us down to the next floor. Let's do this. I'm feeling very, very confident. Curse of the Labyrinth kind of sucks. Oh, no way. There's a secret room there? I had no idea. That's not, like, the whole reason I came here. Ankh is like a, um, I, I really don't like giving up the Ankh, basically. You know, it's like that uh, Vampire Weekend song, giving up the Ankh. I thought about singing it, but, you know, Ezra, whatever his name is. I forgot, I was going to say Ezra Klein, but I think it's a New York Times journalist. He's a much better voice than me. Koenig? Ezra Koenig? I can't remember. It's been a while since I was in second year of university. Um, now, just keep moving here. I forgot what I was going to say. Oh, I'm hesitant to uh, give up the Ankh because it's it's just a really nice kind of like you fucked up, here have another chance kind of item, which you don't get that many of in Isaac, so it can be very helpful. The fact that uh, we, we need some tiers upgrades. Let's not put it like wrap it in flowery language, more flowery language than that uh, unnecessarily. Our damage is fantastic. Our, uh, our DPS is good, but could be better because our charge rate is so freaking slow. Got very lucky to find our boss room right off the bat, though. That saves me a lot of heartache here. Let's do this. I'm ready. First thing is dub Loki. Might be able to one-shot mm, very close. One-shot each one, of course, not both of them at the same time. Close, though. Dare we learn our lesson? We know there's tears upgrades in the pool here. 
So there's one. And friends to the end, sure. And tears down, not very good. And bad gas, also not very good. Well, we, we got a tears upgrade. Could have re-rolled it and got squeezy or something like that, but you never know, man. All right, this should be a very easy mom fight, considering we have poison uh, homing bombs, really good damage from Brimstone. Yeah, this, this should be extremely easy. We're already in permanent bomb state. And this, if you, you know, some boss fights are tailored, to, or sorry, some runs are tailored to individual boss fights. If this run is tailored to any boss fight, wow, thank you, then it is definitely, uh, it is definitely mom's heart. We have, like, the perfect synergy for taking that out. And we shouldn't be too, too bad because of our low rate of fire against, uh, the super late game boss fights either. Professor late game, I would totally expect that, um, you know, we have a pretty realistic chance of taking very little damage against Isaac and Blue Baby. We're kind of, you know, really tearing up these enemies, and that's our ideal room leading up to the boss is, you know, single target foe, doesn't really matter how much HP they have, but the less the better. Crowd control is our, our, our worry here. I really need to hit him when he, like, walks by. There we go. Um, not that Super Greed is going to be too much of an issue for us here, but just to make sure we take no damage on the lead up here. There we go. And we get the quarter, which is something we'll reroll into the hourglass, which is garbage. War could be a little annoying here. We're not, uh, not necessarily crazy fast. So I worry a little bit. We don't even need to be in this room, to be honest with you. We can just leave if things get too hairy, but it's looking fairly okay. Let's check out our curse room. Uh, yeah, so the nail is decent. At least it pays for us going in there. And, we, you know, with Nuns Habit and 9-Volt, we can get so many Spirit Hearts. But I think the D6 is just a little bit more fun, which is a higher priority for me right now. Rainbow Baby's not that good, but we're going to take it because I'm pretty sure that the boss room's going to be just over the ridge here. To Grandmother's house we go. Ooh, very close. Very, very close. And I'm going to be looking for Tears Upgrades and, um... Oh, second secret room. I'm going to be looking for Tears Upgrades and Damage Upgrades, because I would very much like to just have, like, the most powerful Brimstone we've ever had. There was an arcade that could be useful. Is there an arcade? We may never know. Could open that golden chest. In fact, this is our boss room, but uh, I think I will open that golden chest. So let's pop two of spades, finally. Um, takes us up to 18 keys. Far cry from the two we originally thought we were going to get. And if this is shit, then whatever. If it's great, then, well, I mean, still kind of whatever. But yeah, it was kind of shit, and that's okay. Because we're going to tear through these enemies like a lightsaber through butter. Not quite one... Like, all of these enemies seem to get, like, 90% one shot. Not quite one shot, but very, very close. If we use some bombs, we could probably one shot them a little bit more effectively. Um, like, Monstro is actually a little... He's a three-shotter. What's up with that? Oh. Um, yeah, I was gonna say, we don't even need to have any input there. Alright, Isaac fight. Plenty of bombs going to be coming out here. We have a full suite of orbitals. So I just want to speed up the fight as much as possible. And bombs and brimstone are going to be a nice way to make that happen very quickly. One of my, uh, you know, dream items to get on the uh, on the chest would, would absolutely be Mr. Mega. I would be very excited to make that happen. I was going to say Enigma bombs, but I forgot. This is a community remix, Northern Lion. Polythemus, also a big one, of course. Anything that gives us extra damage. Apart from that, we're in a, a rare and enviable position to not really need any HP, so we don't need to get clever with things like PhD, Lard, etc., etc. And we have plenty of reroll opportunity. Should we choose to, you know, get a little bit more creative? Poison Touch, eh, Magnet, ugh. I think we can reroll all these safely. Nothing too exciting here. So, Mom's Knife. Yeah? I think I'll take it, just because it's going to make our damage incredible. Brimstone's been fine, but, you know, when you're low on tears, why not get Mom's Knife as well, you know? And now, um, it took us, like, three shots to kill Gluttony, which scares the shit out of me, because it shouldn't. In a weird way, I think maybe our damage has gone down somehow. I know that's pretty unlikely. Oh, fuck off, Greed. Nobody cares. But I thought it would be a fun item to take. Maybe I'm wrong. We're rerolling everything else because they're just kind of bad. Uh, what do we have up here? Well, 
I really thought we would be one-shotting enemies more effectively. I didn't think it was possible for Brimstone to do more damage than Mom's Knife if you had the same stats coming in, but it really seems like that's exactly how that's working. Maybe some kind of synergy that I missed out on. Like Brimstone Pentagram does twice as much damage or something. I don't know. I'm gonna guess that that's probably unlikely and maybe I'm just missing out on something obvious, like our tears downgrades, meaning that Mom's Knife works less often, like it, it does less ticks of damage or something like that. I have no idea. Let's be honest, that's that's how what I should say every time. I have no idea. Now, I've taken some dumb damage here, but not the end of the world. Normally, like, two shots on this guy would kill him. It took, like, six there. Fuck off, greed. Nobody cares. All right. We should, you know, pick those up, but I'm feeling a little lazy. Super Sloth could give me the tarot card that could win us the whole game here. The tower. If only we got the D20 as well. Uh, it can also give us, like, Bob's Rod and Head, maybe. Our range is, like, god-awful. It's making it pretty difficult for me to get in close enough to take a shot without putting myself super in harm's way. The Fool! Oh, that's a good one. Well, tell you what, there's a good use for it there. Uh, we don't want Skinny on Mushroom, even though I've been complaining about tears. Um, at this point, we probably just want to... I'm just doing that to get the extra uh, charges more quickly at this point, but... Um, we want just more raw damage if possible. Bomb's so useful in the Super Lost fight, I'm finally learning um, to, to slow them down. Otherwise, if you have low speed, you're, you're kind of fucked. Bad gas. They were right. Alright, we don't need any more reroll charges. Let's take it slow through here and reroll all of these. Rosary, bum friend, little Chad. Pretty bad. Rosary is sometimes one of the more useful items on the shop, but not in this case. Or on the, on the chest. On the shop? What am I smoking here? Whatever I'm smoking, give me some of that. What? Edmund, I put a bomb in Chubb's mouth, and then I killed him, and the bomb didn't explode. Excuse me? Can you, uh, you know, you're breaking my immersion here. You're breaking my fucking balls is what you're breaking. All right, you know what? We're going to tank this, because why the heck not? Blue baby is going to be blue freaking crybaby soon. Nice save, Northern Lion. Get in there. Hug it out. It's over. We won, and, you know... It wasn't looking that dire most of the time. It was a relatively easy run. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the run. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching. And I will see you next time.